All right, audio is recording, video is recording. Cat is in frame. Cat needs to go somewhere else. Thank you. Style is such a personal thing, yet so many people feel the need to share their opinion on whether or not someone has good style. Last summer, I posted my new Tibby sandals that I was completely obsessed with, and I got a few comments back. One person said they were horrified, and another said they're not so obsessed. These people were friends, and I know that they didn't truly have any bad intentions, but it got me thinking about how judgmental people can can be when they're assessing someone else's style, especially when it's more creative and pushed. Fortunately, I am confident enough in my own style that it genuinely doesn't bother me when other people make comments that they don't like it, but it does make me upset for others that judgment can be a really big, if not the main reason, why people don't explore their personal style because they're afraid of the looks they're gonna get or the comments that people are gonna make. Luckily, I'm from Toronto, one of the most diverse and multicultural places in the world. And honestly, I think people just feel free to dress how they want without that fear of judgment because everyone's just doing their own thing. But for people who are from a city where everyone kind of dresses the same, it can be really intimidating to dress out of the norm because of the haters. But if you really think about it, I'm sure that the people who give you strange looks or make negative comments are not people whose style you admire. It's always the ones who are afraid to experiment themselves and the ones who simply follow trends who feel the need to spread hate because they truly have no sense of personal style themselves. People who do have personal style know that experimenting is literally how you get there. If you don't try different things, you're not gonna figure out what you like and what makes you feel like you. It's really common to admire and be inspired by other people's style while still knowing that that isn't your style. But the only way that you get there is by trying a lot of different things. Through trying all these different things, you're also able to figure out a lot of different ways that you can actually wear your clothes. Wear your top backwards, wear your shirt as a skirt, wear your cardigan as a scarf. Do the things that feel creative and practical to you regardless of what other people think. It is so liberating to figure out how to dress for who you are and how you feel. A good outfit can completely change my mood. And as my wise father once said, when you look good, you feel good. So I just want to remind you that style is personal. It's a reflection of who you are and the most important thing when it comes to style is that you feel like you in your clothes. And this goes for all things style in general, not just clothes, it goes for hair, makeup, jewelry, everything that combined together is a unique representation of you. How you play around with these different things to create your look is what makes you uniquely you. So put yourself first and ignore the haters who don't vibe with your style. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.